you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel in this video i am going to share you about the new things which is actually very complex not easy if you working as a intune admin or mobile device administrator or or the support engineer or endpoint engineer or whatever call in end user engineer or managing your endpoints like mobile mac windows operating system you must be aware about this nac right or heard about this nac what is nac so it's a network access control it work with the conditions conditional access so you may see on my screen why i am showing this document why it is important so i want to actually explain you how actually the nac integration works with microsoft intune or azure so you see there is a overview this is overview of how actually nac network access control you can have a next nac from cisco uh eyes i mean cisco controller we call or f5 or there are many other nac solutions there available in the market so you see uh the picture here the flow how the network access control integration work when integrated with the intune the first three steps like 1 to 3 will explain you see 1 to 3 is explain the onboarding process once the nac solution whether is cisco or any nac solutions you using is integrated with the intune then steps 4 to 9 describe the ongoing operations okay so you see in the first register you have to register your nac solution whether you are using cisco eyes or any f5 you have to register your sys nac solution partner with azure active directory and grant delegated permissions to the intune uh, nac api so don't be confused there is a nac partner solution and nac api solution so your nac nac partner solution is the cisco iis or f5 and the nac api is is your intune api okay so you have to register your applications where you have to register applications you have to go to here in the azure active directory and you see the app registration here you have to click on new registration you have to give whatever you want to use cisco nac or any nac and you have to delegate this permission i have already made video on this one how you can register application and grant the api permissions based on the requirement so you see the first option is to you have to register this solution in azure active directory as i have shown you and grant delegated permissions let me create a uh, one permission quickly so you see there is single con okay i am not saying i am just, just, just registering okay and you see and delegated permissions mean you see here api permissions right so i have registered this in the azure active directory and you have to give the permissions here so you see here uh, you have to add permissions what about the permission you want to require from the azure or graph okay so i am selecting intune delegated permission you see there are two per type of permissions i am selecting get data warehouse or if you want to select anything here so delegated permission suppose i am selecting this one you see here and you see we have to grant the permission so you have to grant admin consult click on yes it will so it's it's granted so you see delegated permissions are there so i have just delegated it second option is to configure the nac partner solutions with the appropriate setting including the intune discovery url so since i don't have the uh, nac partner solution so if you are if you are, you have to maybe most of you don't have but in case because it's 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 from the network team so you have to contact the network uh, your network team uh, where who are actually managing your nac solutions like cisco is cisco or any or from any other vendors then you have to follow that guide to you have to add all these into into discovery url and everything in the nac partner solution then you have to configure the nac partner solution for certificate based authentication yeah this is the requirement for microsoft now instead of uh, you have to use this certificate based authentication and then step 4 you can mention a 
uh, in the step fours, you just try to connect to the Wi-Fi. So you may be wondering why next solution is required. Next solution is required to to grant the the Wi-Fi or the VPN based on the request with some conditions or before checking whether the device or endpoint is compliant or not. That's why we 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 actually we are just actually next solution will check the compliance will will check the compliance state and based on the compliance state they will grant the permissions okay next partner solutions forward the device information to intune so user so 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 for the first let's go to the first step first okay the first step to register the net partner solution in the azure and they'll grant some permissions the permission will be there in the details and then you have to uh, configure your NAC in, with Intune informations, whatever you have registered in the application in Azure Active Directory, and then you have to configure the with the certificate based on this. And now, user, when we user try to connect the Wi-Fi for Wi-Fi or make a Wi-Fi or VPN connection request, then what we'll do? NAC partner solutions forward the device information to Intune, okay? Because you already integrated, right? And then ask Intune about the device enrollment. Ask Intune about a device uh, in enrollment and compliance state based on the authorization rule or whatever the policy you have set in the next solution if the device is not compliant or not enroll into intune the next partner solution instruct the user to enroll or fix the device compliance first until or they will not give uh, the wi-fi or vpn access okay to to your radius server or audio on premise network the devices try to re-verify its compliance or enrollment status when it's applicable once the device enroll and comply next solution will get the device status okay that this is this device is now is compliant and enroll uh, from intune and then connection is successfully stabilized which will allow the devices access to your corporate resources through vpn or wi-fi you see that this is the limitation neck partner solution will typically make two type of query to intune about the compliance system. one is based on the known property value for a single devices such as imi or wi-fi mac address or broad is unified uh, queries for all non-compliant devices that there are two type of have a neck knock solution um, so how you can uh enable the NAC right so you, you uh, to enable the use of NAC in the compliance retrieval service it's become available in july but now you know uh uh the microsoft has microsoft has uh, published that uh, article that compliance retrieval service requires certificates both indication and use the intune device id in the subject name subject alternative name in the certificates so if you have to use certificates based authentication simple certificate you need the escape servers and you 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 need to add the attributes in the uri with the value provided by the your NAC. so suppose you have to include this one in tune device id in the subject alternate name in the certificates However, uh, Microsoft Intune has added support for querying device based on MAC address for the customer who are unable to use certificate based authentication. However, you see recommendation used to use certificate based authentication with the Intune device ID wherever is possible. So if you want to learn, learn something more, use certificate based authentications. You see here, this is long process. I will show you in the next video. And you you see here what what kind of data they it will share with with the Intune API. So in the compliance, you see compliance status will be shared in all NAC managed by Intune serial number, whatever the MAC device ID, MAC address is also shared with all. These are devices actually. So you can use the MAC address or the Intune device ID. These two are only things is available in NAC 2.0. Okay. Uh, you see the these are the next solutions I as I mentioned Cisco IS if you click on Cisco IS Citrix integrate these are the next solution provider F5 Aruba and square these are the few currently supported by and this is the I'm saying about the Cisco IS mostly you may be using Cisco IS and this is the Cisco IS article you can see 
Microsoft is deprecating is Azure AD Graph when will not support Azure AD Graph enable after June this one okay they have already I think this is outdated application they extended to till uh, December 2023 okay so you have to use all these steps see uh, in the Cisco IC console you have to grant all these permissions as I mentioned in the Azure directory right I have shown you here how you can grant the permissions and then you have to download all some of the certificates which is from the DG cert here or Microsoft certificate or 33 and then you have to configure the auto discovery URL and everything in the Cisco IC release whichever version you are using and then here you see right when you create a new integration new token the, the token audience will use automatically field when you choose the authentication the existing integration you must update the token field manually continue receiving the integrated services so this is this is there this is the release on Cisco 3.3 okay and there so there are many MDM solutions oh, I'm talking about the Microsoft Intune so if you're using any mobile error or, or anything you can also configure it I hope you learn uh, how you can uh, use this next solution and these are the MDM actually supported by the you see endpoint Cisco IC support the flowing endpoint servers as well so I hope you learn how actually you can configure this network access control this is most important thing and the good thing is that they have added the querying devices based on the MAC address for customer who are unable to use the certificate based on the division. this is actually a great thing so try this method and and but but yeah they recommend to certificate based on the decision whenever is possible so I hope you learn how how actually NAC integration work with Microsoft Intune uh, unfortunately I don't have the next solutions otherwise I will show end to end but yeah at least you will get the idea and you can refer these documents to more to know more till then thank you have a good day